Be a fun one, Greg. Two teams that are among the most athletic in the NBA. And I don't know if it'll be a track meet, but it will be an up-tempo game. And that's the only way these teams know how to play. Here are the five for the Raptors. Big men in the four for him. It's Siakam and Pirtle. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Ananobi. And it's Barnes in at the three. Now, here's Siakam. Following the miss by Julius Randle. Robinson with the block. Schroeder against Brunson. It's Robinson high post. Here's Barrett. He takes it in. And Pirtle pulls it down. Now Siakam. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That is his first foul of the game. Inside. Here's Pirtle. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Greg talking about Jakob Pirtle. It doesn't seem like he gets enough credit for his defense. I don't think he does. I mean, he's an excellent rim protector and rebounder and a big man who just takes pride in defending. The first one falls. And for a team in the NBA's biggest market, Brent, amazing that it's been five-plus decades since the Knicks' last title. All right, that's unbelievable. I mean, they've been close a couple times, but that has not been in recent history, Kevin, as you know. They've had a lot of great players, but, man, it just shows you how hard it is to win in this league. And Pearl is a massive guy, someone that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks at the bucket. The shot's good from Brunson. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Schroeder with the ball. Last game he had 10 points. Brunson with some nice D. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now, here's Barrett. He had 15 points last out. Schroeder against Randall. Siakam sets a screen for Schroeder. Shot from 12. And again, Toronto no luck. Man, he's had three good looks at the basket and nothing to show for it. Now, here's Barrett. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Stolen by Robinson. With the teardrop, and it's laid in by Brunson. Brunson's got his second basket of the night. And those are two points earned by Jalen Brunson. Barnes outside. Siakam looking around. On the wing, Ananobi drills it from outside. It's a tie ball game. And what an assured player. Ananobi believes in his ability to shoot the ball off the catch. Randall a screen on Schroeder. And Brunson, here we go. And the shot goes in. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. And we have really watched Jalen Brunson come into his own, playing at a higher level. Well, it's unbelievable, Greg, that he just had that spark year in Dallas, and that that has triggered what it is we get from Jalen Brunson on a nightly basis. Respected for his toughness, his offensive Find game is growing. One shot. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. 
no doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Well, at 175 pounds and lanky, Schroeder still has some strength, especially on those tough finishes. Barrett against Barnes. It's stolen by Schroeder. And now the fast break. Schroeder with the ball. And that one's good, Barnes. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition. And that helps get the rhythm going. Here's Randall following the basket by Scotty Barnes. Robinson misses. The Raptors have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Brunson against Schroeder. It's stolen by Barrett. Down low, Randall. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Excellent court vision from Brunson as he's able to find the open man. 133 left in the first. Here's Barnes. We saw him with 29 points last game. Pass to on and open. Six on the shot clock. Toronto needs to get off his shot. Siakam for three. It's rebounded by Barrett. The Knicks with the lead. The pass to Brunson. To the middle. Here's Robinson. And Robinson throws it down. And Brunson operating so comfortably there in the pick and roll. And Siakam has got the ball here for Toronto. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. I mean, in the modern era, you have to be able to stretch the floor or you're going to struggle. Yeah, the best way to make it hard on teams is continue your motion, and their motion on the perimeter just wasn't good enough. That ended up costing them. And again, no good by Toronto. The Knicks leading by three. And here's Brunson. He's coming off a 22-point game against Toronto. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Siakam outside. Here's Schroeder. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. Jalen Brunson has been on display for the Knicks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We've got more in store for you right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for New York? Uh, they've been so aggressive, going strong at the defense, looking to score off of that penetration. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And Toronto has possession. Trailing by five. Last time they met was in Toronto. Well, you, you never want to concede a game before you play it. That said, though, they were just overmatched. Tough thing about that one is they also were playing uh, a poor opponent, so no fire in that game. And that sticks with you a little bit. So on the floor for Toronto to start this second quarter, Trent and Barnes share the wing. There's Boucher out there with a chew up, and it's Flynn in at the point guard position. He's off on the first. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, suddenly taking the next step. 
what can key that lead? Kevin, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. Now here's Brunson. Shoots over Flynn. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. And that in-between J, Brunson capable. Raptors trail by six. Outside Flynn. Pass to Trent. Boucher with a screen on quickly. Trent finds Boucher. And the dunk by Boucher. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's the screen. Just five on the clock. And off there. He misses his first shot of the night. Here's Toronto. Four-point game. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Josh Hart. So it's both teams making substitutions here. So it's the Knicks now. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. The first free throw is good. It's so crucial for Hart to get to the line, establish some confidence. He's solid from there. But I think it sometimes gets his perimeter game going. good from the line that time and one outstanding things the Raptors do Greg they really protect the ball yeah even when they're not playing their best they don't give away games with mistakes they force you to find other ways to beat them and that one's good Barnes yeah here's a list of things I don't want to do and right at the top is guard that guy Brunson against Schroeder to the inside and Barrett brings it in. And Barrett will give you these kind of flashes. He got up that time. And it's Barnes with the ball for Toronto. They trail by six. Tries from the block. It's rebounded by Barrett. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. Here's Brunson. Toronto grabs the miss. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Bounce pass from Ananobi. And there's Barnes. That's good on the assist by Ananobi. Barnes has got four points now in the quarter. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Hartenstein passes to Barrett. Over Barnes. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Stolen. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. These days, the ball is in Pascal Siakam's hands. He says it means everything. Being on the ball just gives you a better rhythm. I don't think it's hard. It's just something you grow into. I have those images in my head of where I want to get to. Now, defenses often look to double, and he said, if I played me, I would do that too. Kevin? <laughs> All right, David, thank you.
different look for New York. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Randall comes in for Josh Hart. And quickly in for Jalen Brunson. Raptors also changing it up. Pirtle is checked in for Achua. Pascal Siakam comes in for Chris Boucher. And Trent subbed in for Scotty Barnes. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Schroeder kicks to Siakam. Trent outside. Puts up a three. Siakam's shot is off. Looking at the Knicks, they took the win in their last game against the Raptors. You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring. Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. Now, here's Hananobi. Following the miss by Julius Randle. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Randle surveying the D. Robinson left side. Grimes passes to quickly. Five on the clock. Pulls up on the wing. That one's in his first shot this game. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now, here's Trent. Still scoreless. Now the dish to Schroeder. Hurdle sets the pick for Schroeder. Inside, it's stolen by Randall. There's 48 seconds left here in the second. Down low. Randall is doubled. Back to quickly. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. And it's a nine-point Knicks lead. Since going in the 2020 first round, quickly has gotten a lot more selective with his shot-taking and shot-making. A sign of maturity. Siakam finds Ananobi. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Rando passes to quickly. Back to Randall. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Randall's got the lead up to 11 now for New York. Here's Ananobi. Buries the long range jumper. Ananobi's got six points. And so it's the New York Knicks in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Back to the action in just a minute. Welcome in for halftime. And what's on tap, you ask? I can answer that. So far, it's been a nice outing for the New York Knicks. You know, shout out to the coaching staff. This is a disciplined team right now. This is one of the best I've seen with very few mistakes so far. And you wonder if they'll face a more aggressive, disruptive defense in the second half. Okay, time now to see how the Eastern Conference is starting to shape up. Well, I think for the Knicks, they're finding out anyone can win on any night. That said, once they've adjusted, watch out. Lots of firepower on this roster. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow. And you know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. Now you can get into a passing rhythm, and so far all of his have been on point. 
we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Then it's Jalen Brunson. Then it's Barrett. And it's Grimes in at the two guard. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Randall no good. Raptors trail by eight. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Up top, Randall. Over Siakam. That's good from Randall on the assist from Brunson. Brunson's got four assists now tonight. Here's the Raptors with the ball. Eight-point game. Barnes outside. There's the triple. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Well, a definite strength of Schroeder seems to have a knack for knowing when to get rid of that ball. Randall a screen on Schroeder. Here's Brunson outside for Randall. That's the free fly. Rebound by the Raptors. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Barnes finds Siakam. Hurdle with a screen on Randall. Siakam for three. It's rebounded by Barrett. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Now here's Brunson. He's got 13. Robinson. And Robinson throws it down hard. And that's Mitchell Robinson's attitude. Anywhere around the rim, he's going to rock it. Siakam outside. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Hurdle with a screen on Randall. Siakam inside the three-point line. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Grimes passes to Barrett. Kicks it to Randall. Brunson against Schroeder. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. And of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. The Knicks making a switch here. Brickley's checked in. Trent's checked in for the Raptors. He hits the second from the line. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Handle a screen on Trent. Here's Grimes, defended by Trent. No one near Randall as he lets it go. And the three off target. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Now, I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability to play in attack mode. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Knicks. 
all game long they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steals. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. A, a big man who can score, rebound, and pass. This is why Siakam has become a huge piece of this team. And New York making a change here. Hartenstein's checked in. Achua, he's checked in for the Raptors. OG Ananobi comes in for Scotty Barnes. No good on the second free throw. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. The physicality Randall plays with night in and night out, Brent, is impressive. Wow. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Kevin, when you have this matchup, he's such a workhorse, you feel like he's going to eventually just wear down his opponent. He's got great conditioning, and he's always on the floor. And Barrett does a good job there just creating the shot for himself. He is a scorer. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for the Raptors. Trailing here by eight. Pass to Achua. Ananobi against Barrett. Here's Trent. It's deflected. 107 left in the third quarter. Randall a screen on Trent. There's the pass to Randall. No good on the triple. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Trent outside. Pass to Ananobi. It's stolen by Barrett. Passes it to Randall. Now Barrett. New York moving the ball around. Lock at six. And there's another one for the Knicks. Incredible move right there from Barrett. This guy knows how to handle that rock. Schroeder against quickly. To the middle. Here's Siakam. Randall with some nice deep. So it's New York going into the break with a 10-point lead. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Now it's here with Coach Tom Thibodeau was reviewing with his team in the huddle. Right back, man. Let's go score, stop, score here. Everyone talk defensively. Get stops and then let's go. Let's go. Make the game easy for each other. Make plays. Get your spacing. And defense obviously so important to Coach Thibodeau. I mean, he wants his team to get stops and leak out fast. Fundamental basketball. And with three quarters behind us, Let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. On the court for Toronto to start the fourth. Trent and Barnes share the wing. Achua is out there with Chris Boucher. And it's Flynn in at the point. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that D can afford to give him. Quickly the pass to Hartenstein. Now the Raptors moving it up. All going up court. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut to just five on the basket from Achua. Now catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery on time, on target. Now here's Brunson. Over Flynn. Brunson, no good. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Brunson against Lynn. Pass to Barnes. 
Six to shoot. And here is Trent outside. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. They set the pick to the paint. Deflects the pass. The pass to DiVincenzo. For three. At the heart. The tray. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And he can hurt you from there. The D must be up on Hart when he has the ball. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Here's Barnes. It's rebounded by Quickly. The Knicks leading by five. Pass to Brunson. Falls right in. He is eight for 11 with that shot. As much as you like Jalen Brunson, he believes in himself more than you do. Confidence translated. Toronto calls timeout. And Toronto will go for a different look here. Pirtle, he's checked in for Precious Achua. Pascal Siakam comes in for Chris Boucher. OG Ananobi's checked in for Gary Trent. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Flynn. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, able to listen in on what Darko Ryakovich was going over with his team. Now, he's not pleased with the perimeter game on both sides of the ball. He told his guys, we aren't working hard enough out there. We need to shut down the perimeter on defense, and on offense, we have to focus from good to great. Guys? Thank you, David. Siaka misses. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end one, and this time, they're not backing off. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Schroeder following the basket by Julius Randle. To the middle. Here's Ananobi. And Ananobi slams it in. A heady play there from Schroeder zipping the pass to the teammate who had the cleanest look on the possession. Brunson against Schroeder. And the basket is good. Brunson's got four points this quarter. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in. A very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Passes it to Siakam. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Randall is screen on Schroeder. Brunson with it. Now guarded by Siakam. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Down low. No good on that one. Some solid defense from Robinson. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. Well, Brunson, one of those players that's just not going to be denied, determined to convert inside. And he does. 
Siakam inside. Randall on him. Siakam passes to Purtle. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Mitchell Robinson. And it's difficult to stay down on Purtle's pump fake. He really exploits defenders with it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that brings them to within 10. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. You know, the team's struggling to come back. He really wanted all of those free throws. Brunson against Schroeder. Back to Randall. Launches it. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got four rebounds in this game. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. And it's Randall, top of the key. Brunson against Schroeder. Randall a screen on Schroeder. Brunson the pass to Randall. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Randall's got the lead up to 12 now for the Knicks. Toronto's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for New York. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jalen Brunson. Now this was a showcase night of his skills offensively. Making every effort to put this game on ice. We love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Well, at this point, they're just trying to get back in sync. You, you want to play a good brand of basketball. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. Now, Brunson. So no problem for New York as they get the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Jalen Brunson.